Hey guys, this is Isaac. Welcome back to Minecraft Air City. Now, I have been playing since we last talked, so let me go ahead and show you around. First off, I built this, which I think is a cobblestone generator. Found a YouTube video that described it. Um, this is where my old one used to be. I tore that down and also expanded this area out, put a fence all the way around it, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and test this just at the beginning of the video in case it fails and get the heck out of here. So I saw a video showing this off, and it looked pretty cool. It looks pretty uh, efficient. I guess it's safe. Missed that block, missed that block, missed that block. Well, this isn't efficient at all. There we go. Well, it works pretty efficiently. So far, my tests don't really show that it's any more efficient than my old one, so I may have to yet again revise this, but um, it seems like a lot of them are being thrown over there, too. This is going to be my pick. Pick, break, break, pick, break. Whoa. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh... Hopefully that will be a more efficient design. I'll have to do much more extensive testing before I know if it actually is. Um, maybe if I... I don't really think this would matter, but maybe if I put it against the back wall instead of just flat on the surface. Whatever. So that's that thing. Um, what else have I done? Well, I changed this area up here. I redesigned it with better lighting and better attractiveness. I think it actually looks very nice like that. Um, I also put some half steps up there, but you know, there's, it's not totally covered in half steps, although the lighting seems more than sufficient to cover it. Um, I did, did decide that I will be using uh, charcoal, so torches aren't really a problem anymore. And you can see I have uh, plenty of logs. They're really easy to get. And what else did I change? Um, I built the pasture. I'll go show you the pasture in just a minute. But this episode has a few purposes, now that I already have the better cobblestone generator. Uh, the first purpose is that one odd block of dirt. This one. I want to get that block back. And to do that, I'm going to have to go below my air city. Ooh. Ah. Uh, yeah, here's my pasture. Nothing special. Um, fixed up this area a little bit. Moved my workbench out there. And I don't think my inventory has changed all that much. Um, I made a bunch of charcoal, but other than that, everything's just about the same. So my first goal is getting that block of dirt down. And I've been thinking about it for a little while, and I think that it should actually be a fairly simple procedure. Um, I'm just going to go into this waterfall, place a block up beneath it, come back up, fill this hole back in, and uh, hopefully not die or fail or anything. Please don't fall out. Uh, okay, that block does in fact appear to be underneath the dirt. Okay, this isn't actually that difficult. I think I'm good. That's cool. I was really uncertain about how difficult that was going to be. I really didn't want to die. Because that would be the lamest death ever. But I think that I can now just pick that dirt block up. Yep. Sweet. Okay, it was really bothering me that it was uneven. But now everything's fixed up. That didn't take anywhere near as long as I expected it to. So we might have a little bit of downtime in today's episode. We'd have to figure out some other things to do. I do want to expand my tree farm this direction, because I have a little bit of dirt left. Um, I have these pieces, which I can move out there. And then also, I built a little emergency storeroom in my squidarium, but then I realized that there's really no need for this. Um, I do want to leave the pickaxes, just in case I ever forget um, to make pickaxes like I was discussing. So I'll just leave those two in there, and those will just stay there literally forever. I won't ever use them, unless every other pickaxe is broken. Oh, and one brief note, um, my health is in fact a half heart lower. I fell off of this back corner of my house, right here, fell, took a half heart of damage, uh, slapped myself. This is ridiculous. Um, but hopefully soon I will actually have, like, you know, health and, and stuff like that. Because I've been leaving the file running a little bit more, and hopefully the grass is making its way up. I also built a little plank thing out there that I can use to go check on the grass. Um, because now that everything's fenced in pretty well, I can't really see it. 
Um, but yeah, the grass is growing just fine. It's just taking a long time. And once I expand this area, and I'll have to climb up there and fix the roof up, um, once I'm done with that, I'm not really sure what we'll do. I guess we need to start working on our next project, which is, um, as of yet, undeclared. Okay, I need to finish it out here first. I do kind of want to do all of this sort of edge building early on, though. So I don't want to, you know, spend like 400 hours in this farm and then go out on a ledge and fall off by accident. So since the crouch key is so notoriously unreliable, um, and if my entire life counts on it, I believe that fairly certain I'm just going to be marking out just a giant area um, with blocks so that I can place blocks adjacent to them without actually hanging off the edge and therefore expand my domain without actually risking all that much at a somewhat later point in this project. Um, although really I'm quite happy with, with not dying so far. That was very much a, a risk. Well, I guess that's it, actually. I guess that's uh, where I would want those. I don't really like how close this is to the edge. Um, oh, and these are actually... These are on the... Oh, that one isn't. This one is. Okay, so I can actually just move this edge out a piece. That'd be okay. Glad I was crouching there. Ah, oh, Minecraft. You are scarier than Demon Souls for no good reason. And I love you. Although the Dark Souls trailer looks pretty awesome, gotta say. I'm pretty hyped up about that. Um, although I'm not very good at Demon Souls, so I will undoubtedly suck even more at Dark Souls. And you know, this can be hanging over the edge. I'm kind of reticent to build it like that, but it is more resource conservative, and as long as I'm not an idiot and start, like, forgetting to crouch or something, I'll be okay. Ah. Okay, that gives me much more breathing room. And actually, this is probably over air. Yep. I prefer that configuration. And saplings... Torches. And time to go put your ceiling cappers on. I guess they're all over here. Um, I guess I have everything I need. Half steps, nether rack, get some planks. You know, it, it kind of surprises me, because like when you look at this whole thing, like this isn't much. Let's be honest, this isn't much. Um, but the fact that all of this came from one inventory that I carried up here, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a cool thing that uh, a lot of people don't really think about it with Minecraft. But that Air City has made it absolutely imperative that I think about. No, I actually needed that piece. Uh, four, jump, place, five, crouch. Pay very careful attention to what you are doing, so you don't press W, thinking it's a numpad key, and fall to your death. That is my perpetual fear, is that I'm just going to press W, thinking it's like 3 or something, and just fall and die. Because <laughs> that seems like the least climactic way to end this possible. If I do die, I hope to die in the nether. Uh, just because the nether kills people, it's kind of what it does. Uh, crouch. I like how this looks. I like the uh, the red and the white and the uh, plank, whatever color that is. Place torches in spirals. Uh, this one does in fact go there, because these always go in this corner. So then there's that, and that, and... Sorry, this is very difficult geometry for me. Nah, I'm actually really good at geometry, but I'm not crouching, so I'm trying to be careful. Oh, I'm going to need to go down there, so that torch will have to be replaced from lower. But yeah, I can't really see there being any conceivable way for monsters to spawn up here. It's very well lit, and there's the half steps on top of that. Um, I think this was my elevator down. Yes. And torches, crouch, move out, place, get back on, go down. 
Being on two hearts is so terrifying because I can constantly see them shaking out of the corner of my eyes. And I don't like shaking hearts. Well, that's nice. It's got this little awkward protuberance here, but eventually I'm sure I can move that to that side. And, ooh, I can actually get rid of that. I didn't even think about that. This poor tree has no chance of growing as is. There we go. Looks much better now. Um, I'm glad that I did that. That's something that I'm I'm happy with accomplishing. I also have a bunch of saplings built up. <laughs> saplings are obviously really easy to get. And this, as of now, is all of my dirt. Every single piece of dirt I have is either here, in this staircase thing, or in my pasture. And I, I do understand that for my pasture I will have to tear a bunch of this up and build a path over to this, but I'm going to wait for that. For now I just like actually seeing what it kind of looks like. Minus the green. So what to do? Well, I'll go harvest some co uh, cobble while I wait. And I really do need some sort of direction for what building I shall build up here. Because I can't use things like dirt, so I can't have like big tree plantations or anything. I have to keep my dirt in my farms and so on. Um, but I, what I was thinking is I could build like an artificial mostly wood and water house. Like, kind of mostly neglect stone, use some half-steps and some smooth stone, but mostly logs, planks, fences, um, and then water. A lot of water flowing everywhere, uh, waterfalls. I do plan on installing boat travel if this area up here ever becomes... Sorry about that. This area up here ever becomes large enough that boat travel seems like a good idea. I'd quite like to put some boat travel in, maybe a boat ride. Um, but for right now... I would like, I don't know, maybe a monster trap. Maybe that should be my next thing. It's really dangerous, though. I'd almost like to get health before bothering with a monster trap. Health and armor, pre most preferably. Although, again, leather armor is still quite a bit away. Um, I need to get this cobble. So this is more efficient than my old one. It's not particularly perfect, but um, it does seem to yield a little bit better. And it is much fancier looking, so that's nice. Um, I do want a block of obsidian to place underneath this. But I'm going to have to get another nether run for that, and I'm not going to do another run on two hearts. <laughs> so it seems like until my pasture forms, really all I can do is uh, gather raw resources. And uh, mostly planks and stuff like that. And build up a bunch of those. I do think that uh, cobblestone is more, air quotes, expensive than logs, though. Because, like, this is not only tedious, but it's also pretty slow. And logs, you can get, uh, if you just wait for the tree har farm to grow, then you can just run over to the tree farm and get it really easily. Uh, meanwhile, this, you actually have to stand here, and until I have the obsidian block, I can't just hold down the button. Once I have the obsidian block, I can just sit here like this and mine away without even looking. Um, and at that point, efficiency won't really matter, because I'll just, you know, make up a, a whole inventory of uh, pickaxes and just go at it for a little while. Um, but as is, I'm pretty happy with how all of this has grown up, I do have to say. And that axe is so broken. I'm not even going to bother wasting that last log with it. Uh, wait a minute, did that log... Oh, this is the tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little worried there. What else do I need to do? Hmm. I'm trying to think other resources that are kind of renewable. I mean, mob resources, pasture resources. I have cobblestone, which gives me access to a bunch of boring stuff. I could just start making smooth stone. And this furnace I made for the purpose of actually doing furnacey stuff. So I went in here, and I'm like, oh, I need to smelt something. No problem. Uh, every single furnace... Well, actually, these are really bad examples, because I think, yeah, all three of those are empty. But for a while, they had stuff in them. And uh, it was not a tempting option. But yeah, I'd like to build just like a giant man-made lake and then put like a wooden house on top of that. I think that could be pretty cool. So you guys will have to comment what you like. I'm sorry if this was kind of a short and boring episode, but that went much smoother than I expected. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you like uh, me, then give us a subscribe. And thanks for watching. I will see all of you in the future. Bye, guys.